welcome one and all to the one one and only Crumple Paper Podcast. That consists of. That consists of uh, your usual host, I, Jacob Aguilar. Kiara Tory, Miranda Husband. Will Zirkle. Charles the Banana Juan. And a special guest known as Mackenzie Shroud. Keeps! <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming festivities that are. Apple what's Blossom. Up? That are Apple Blossom. Yeah, that make up Apple Blossom. <laughs> I you know. forget the name. Yeah. <laughs> And um, they consist of the carnival, the yeah, parade, they consist of midway. I don't know what that is. Lots, lots of food. Lots of food. Food. Oh uh, yeah, parties. Um, the parade. I think we said the parade. Yeah. Uh, the ten k. There's a ten k that they do. Our buddy, um, yeah. Also a photo in. contest. Ten oh, k. Right. The photo mile contest. They have five ten k. A photo oh, contest. Do that. Mm-hmm. They have the Bloom and Mile and Jim Barnett. And then, yeah, so it's a pretty big No, thing. it's already started off. You know, they got the rock and roll dance. Got really? Like the like older people. They had the event. wine fest. Like a live podcast. Yeah, no, live podcast. Awesome. You know, we'd have like three people show up. <laughs> and me, oh my, this year, I, I, I don't even know who the special guest is. Who's the guest? I don't know. Who was the guest last year? Was last it like Kevin Jonas? Jonas? Kevin Jonas. Kevin <laughs> Jonas. Was this year? And then the year before, it was the Duck Dynasty people. After oh, God. Mario and then the year before yeah. that, Mario Lopez. I remember that. Yep. Yeah, so then, big thing, lots of people. Last year, Apple Blossom, like after the fireman's parade, um, I know it was the big parade. A group of my friends and I and my family went to go see the Avengers, and Kevin Jonas was there. Are you serious? And we just kept yelling Camp, Camp Rock references. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he call. probably felt terrible. He was just like, oh, we just I think Kevin um, Jonas. Candace Cameron's mom, wait, no, Candace Cameron was our, was something last year, and her daughter is our princess this year. Oh. The girl from Pool House. <gasps> oh, <yes. laughs> DJ Tanner. <laughs> Still known as DJ Tanner on Fuller House. Also, yes. Anyway. Moving on. Uh, um, plans for Apple Blossom. Kenzie, what's your plans? What's Come on. Your plans? plans for Apple Blossom. Yeah. We all do it. <laughs> Your purple and sister and first group podcast plans. Um, probably go downtown with my friends. Um... Get lots of food, some funnel cakes, yes. some, lots of fried stuff. That's that's about all I got. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe play a game when I like a two dollar stuffed bear. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's pretty. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a goldfish. All that exactly. Yeah, and then I'll get like seven thousand goldfish, and they're all gonna die. die. Yeah. <laughs> all right, next. Who's who's next? Jacob. Oh me. Uh, well, I have to work every day except for Friday, so Friday. I'm going to enjoy it because I was in band for the past three years, so I wasn't able to enjoy, like, the stuff downtown ever. That reminds me. Yeah, it was terrible. And this year, I finally decided, you know, I'm going to, I'm just going to spend some time down there. And so now I'm going to, I'm going to go downtown, going to get a few friends. We're going to have some fun, go to the parade, and then we're going to go to the carnival after, you know, turn, uh, have fun. And then... Saturday and Sunday, I don't, I'm not sure what's going to happen yet. Oh, Sunday in the park. What's that? Oh, it's when they bring, like, all the crafts to the park at Jim Barnett oh, cool. and all the food. That would be great. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad Mackenzie's here and knows all these, like, little things. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, so if you miss out on Friday or Saturday, you can always get some food on Sunday and then you can buy some, little you can spend some nets. more money mm-hmm. and buy buy some crafts that are were most Apple likely handy. You just spend a lot of money. I wonder money. how a much, lot of like, money. is spent. On the a carnival lot. alone. Too much. Twenty five dollars for a wristband. <laughs> yeah. like, that is too. That is way yeah. too much. Yeah. And then you go on a couple rides and you feel sick and you're like, I'm done. And then you also have to think you have to buy the right outfit for Apple Blossom. <laughs> so there's more <laughs> money you got to spend. I have a friend who has a major gambling problem. You know the coin things that like slide back. Yeah. And forth? Oh my gosh, I have that problem too. My friend. That friend. That that one <laughs> right there. That one's standing right there. Really? He spent forty dollars won $80 and then lost it all and then like was begging people for money and he would kill me if he heard me saying this right now. I won, uh, I, I played one of those games at a gas station too and I spent $10 and cool. I got back 20 but then I ended up spending it all and so then I got $8 back. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Gambling. Well, we, didn't, we didn't go around everyone. Charles, yeah. what are yours? Uh, I don't know. I haven't been to the carnival since second grade so. We're dragging Charles to the carnival. Uh, Some, one of us sit on this Ferris wheel. It's going to be me. Last year I went to the car. No, it might. It was probably like three years ago. I went to the carnival. Walked in. This guy is walking out and he's like, "Ew, 
ew and i was like mom what's wrong with him and then mm-hmm. there's throw up on his back Ew. So he, oh. <laughs> some nice little kid threw up all over him. That is a nice little kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's Kiara, terrible. what about yourself? I think I'd go to the carnival and probably the flea market and, and eat a lot of fried Oreos and funnel cakes and stuff and feel bad about myself when I get home. I'm honestly trying to avoid all the fried food as much as possible because yeah, I don't want to feel it's, like a well, terrible Well, this is the person. only time I ever eat fried like crap like that. All right, Miranda. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I'm probably not doing anything for Applesauce then. I'm leaving. You're leaving? Where are you going? I'm going up to Pennsylvania again, since that's where I spend every weekend of my life. But that's I don't know. Fun. I might hang out for a day or two if people make plans. Probably right. won't go to Carnival. <laughs> I'll go to the Carnival with Will for a day. You're going to see me. Say I did something. Will, what are gonna you going to do? Me. Go to the Carnival with Miranda? Yeah. Yep. I have a friend that lives down the street from Old Town, so I'm going to go to a party, and then we're going to go to Old Town and walk around. And I guess mm-hmm. I'm tagging along with Will. Yeah. Oh, there's the fireworks, too. Oh I always God. forget about the fireworks. Oh, this is going to be Someone awesome. Someone take me to yeah. fireworks. Where are the fireworks? Go take her to they the always do them, like, right yeah. at Hanley. Like, sit on Hanley's, like, see, the, see, the thing is, if Miranda really? goes with Will, yeah. Will can leave me behind. No, no you're we're taking with care of What they got? No. I was listening I, to I these teachers funny. talk, They're though, either or and they were talking about I'm apple really blossom, sure. and the one teacher was like, I am doing my very best to stay as far away as I can from Virginia during apple blossom. That's a good, oh. that's we a get a lot of traffic through here for apple blossom. Yeah. It's growing really You know, good. that's oh, actually why I they redid going getting... into town. Yeah, that's the whole that's reason the why reason they did downtown. They, like, tore the those buildings down because it wasn't, like, as welcoming, and, like, no tourists wanted to come, like, right into town where, like, all of that was. Apple Blossom is becoming such a big event. And I it is. It. It's, like, it's going it to be like Mardi Gras in the next 000? couple of years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's starting to turn into a really too, big thing. Really hope, and like Kenzie was saying, the outfit. Yeah, you know, I got my outfit picture. planned because, okay, I don't really have a pink top. Okay, that's not kind of weird. But I don't really have like pink, but I got these green shorts from Spain, and uh, I'm going to rock them Friday. I'll put this in the wash of the red shirt. A white button-up shirt? I don't have a white button-up shirt. Well, then you're not going to See, more money spending. But I'm broke. I Me got too. forty dollars in my account food. right now. I'm broke. I got negative I four dollars. I got a dress that has <laughs> pink flowers okay, and I green like, stuff. I don't wear pink stuff, so my outfit's pretty ready. But I don't know for the carnival. I never actually wear apple blossom co- yeah. colors when I go to the carnival. Carnival's mm-hmm. like you gotta. You yeah. you should wear like your pajamas and then yeah. throw them away after. I wear yeah, long pants. Pretty, pretty dirty at the carnival. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about the carnival. What's everyone's favorite carnival rides? Can Ferris wheel. Mm-hmm. Ferris wheel. Um, I like the zipper or the Same. or the claw thing, the claw freak thing out. that spins. That's my yes, the it's freak not there out. anymore. It's gone. What? Yeah, they took it out. But there's a new one that has like three seats that goes all the way in a circle. Oh, or I it's also better. like the one that you have to pay extra for. Oh my god. Oh, the vortex. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. The zipper was. I don't the best see one, how though. you guys remember all the rides' names. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I'm over here. There all the, time. the only one I know is zipper, and that's because like it's basically it like a chainsaw. It's like a chainsaw, and then like. It like has cages that You just spin. keep going. <laughs> yeah, I freaking that loved that ride. No, that was I was so scared to go on the vortex and like this girl that I knew like in elementary school, she came up to me. She's like, I need someone to come with me, and I was never gonna go on the vortex ever. She's like, well, I was like, okay, and then she took me to the vortex, and I was like, oh gosh, no, I don't want to go on it. But I had to go on it. And make sure, <laughs> make sure if you go to the carnival, make sure to go with like even number of people. Yes. Yeah. The- even, even number of people. That way it's not people just riding by themselves or with strangers because no <laughs> one likes that at all. Everyone seems to really hate or it. When, or when you go on that like uh, that merry-go-round of the swings and like it's just a group of three and so you're sitting with your friend but then the one friend's in the back yeah. with, with no one like, sitting next hey to Like, hey guys! So you like turn back and you're like, hey! And, and then like, you get a really big headache when you turn back. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> mm, carnival games though to get prizes. Oh my. How much money have all you spent on carnival games? I don't know, because, like, I always tried to do good at that, like, where you had to shoot out the star with the BB gun. Yeah. And then, like, I always get it back, and it's just, like, everywhere but the star shot. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, she's like, oh, well, it looks like you can't get the giant, like, four-foot teddy bear. And then you always see the people walking around yeah. with them. And then you're just like, it's cause the what are you going to do with that right it's, now? It's the basketball game that they have. It's super easy to do, and, like, you get the big teddy bears. Not for me. I suck at basketball. Never gonna get one of those. 
But well, I do I always hate, win. I hate it when the, the carny people try like going like, okay, okay, well I'll give you a discount. You oh do this. God, yeah. If you get this much, then. But they know you're not gonna get it, and they're like, eh, eh, more God, money. God, <laughs> the one, the one that I'm always good at is when you have to take like the ping pong ball and then throw it into the like the little glasses, and then you get a goldfish. Like for some reason, I'm really good, and I think it's an acquired skill for some reason, and um, I love it. And like I remember one time I got like four carnival fish. Or something like that from it. How long did they last? Actually, one lived for like a year and a half. Wow. Do you know what I've always wanted to do, but I don't want like other people to see me do it? Is the ladder thing. Oh, I, I really yeah. want to do that, but I just, I know I'm going to fall so where hard. other people have been like sweating and stuff, and I just, that's yeah. gross. Yeah. They, they should do, okay. I'll, all right, I don't want to talk about this too much, but in Spain, there was this like obstacle course that is like a wipeout obstacle course, and it's inflatable. It was the most fun thing that I've ever done. And, like, I don't know why it was so fun, but it was just, like, awesome and unexplainable with how fun it was. All right, guys. Well, it sounds like we're running out of things to talk about. It does. So we're going to have to wrap up this here. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.